Hey guys, long time no see. I haven't made a video in forever. Um, sorry, a lot of personal stuff in my life going on and just either haven't felt like filming or for whatever reason I haven't been making videos. But I do have a book haul for you guys today. Um, sorry about the lighting. We have really bad stormy, rainy weather here. So uh, this is the best it's going to be for right now. But um, I have a pretty decent sized haul so I'm just going to get right into it. The first book I got is No Easy Way Out by Dana Lorenz. This is book two. The first book is No Safety in Numbers, which I don't own, but I won this off library thing, early reviewers, so I'll have to get my hands on the first book. Um, but I believe this is kind of like 28 Days Later, like a, um, a post-apocalyptic um zombie type thing where they're quarantined. I don't know. It sounds really good, but, and this book is a chunker. I didn't realize how big it was, but there's that. I also got Cocktail Hour by Tara McTiernan. This I got for review. Um, it is chiclet. Um, I'm hoping to get to this one soon. It seems like a good summer read. I won a copy of Starstruck by Rachel Sh Shakart. Shakart, Shakart. <laughs> um, but I won this off Random Buzzers, and this is um, like a 1930s Hollywood type story. Um, so, I don't know, sounds pretty good. Um, another book I got for review is Nothing More, Nothing Less by Ashley Ducart. And this one um, is about a boy whose mother, um, his mother commits suicide. And he starts doing drugs. I don't know. It's kind of like a tough contemporary type read. And this is from Beaver's Pond Press. But it sounds really good. And I really like the colors in this cover. It's a really pretty cover. I don't know. The camera's not really picking it up. But it's kind of like an ombre type book with pink fading into purpley blue. Really like it. Um, next, I got a copy of The Selection from Kara Cass. Um, Krista from Cubicle Blind this sent this to me because I really wanted to read it. And she had a copy that she already read. So she passed it along to me. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, I won a copy of this. I forget what blog. Oh, I remember. Book Hounds. Mary from Book Hounds. Um, I won a copy of Black Boy White School. And this is by Brian Walker. Um... Don't really know what it's like. He basically goes to, he's a black boy that goes to a, a primarily white school and just his story. Huh, that was a great description, huh? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, the next one is a book my mom gave me that she read that she really liked, and it's called The Middle Place by Kelly Corrigan. Um, not really sure what this one's about, but she read it and she thought I'd really like it, so she passed it on to me. Um, next, I want a copy from Liz, um, from Consumed by Books. I want a finished copy of Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Um, and everybody, especially Brad from Book YA Review, um, raves about this book. So I was really happy that I won it, and hopefully I get a chance to read it soon, because I really, I really want to read this one. Um, next, I bought a couple books off... Um, I think I bought them off Amazon. I had a gift card for my birthday that I had for a while, and I just hadn't used it. So I picked up the um, series called Thought Thoughtless. Oops, Thoughtless by S. C. Stevens. Um, this is a adult romance, I believe. Um, I first learned about it from. Um, now I'm not gonna book as my collie. <laughs> I was like drawing a blank. Um, but she raved about these books first, and then Jen reading with pugs. Um, also really loved these books, so I picked up, this is the first one, which is Thoughtless. Then book number two is Effortless. And book number three, which is Reckless. And all of these books are like chunkers, but hopefully they're quick reads. I think they will be. Um, next, I picked up... 10 by Gretchen McNeil because I've been wanting this book forever. I also picked up a copy of um, And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, and I did read that last month, so hopefully I will be reading this one soon. I haven't read anything by Gretchen McNeil, and this book sounds awesome. I can't wait to read it. Okay, last but not least, I got a book for review from Quark, which I'm sure you guys have seen. 
on the blogosphere, but it's called The Resurrectionist, and it's by E.B. Hudspeth. Um, the Lost Work of Dr. Spencer Black. And as always, this book from Quirk is, like, beautiful. But they always are. Um, I'm just going to take the dust jacket off. But this is the actual book. It just looks like an old, old-time book. And, of course, they have beautiful end papers. I don't even know if my camera is picking this up. but um, And Quirk just puts out the most beautiful-looking books ever. And they have really cool illustrations throughout um, I don't know, Quirk, Quirk's books are just so phenomenally made that I just want to read them. I don't even care what the topic's about, but I just want to read them because they're so beautiful. Um, so hopefully I will be getting to this one soon, but just like, look at that. Oh, Pegasus. So, um, anyway, that's it for me. Um, I'm hoping to really get back in the swing of things and make a lot more videos. Um, so if there's anything you want to see um, from me as far as like tags or um, I know it's kind of late to do a June TBR so I think I'm just going to skip it for this month and maybe make one for July. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below, comments <laughs> below and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Bye.